How's that? There we go. Perfect. Hi there, how's it going? So we're going to go through three uh, examples, right? Okay. And I'll just walk through where, you know, certain elements and stuff within the little video we can take out, we can remove. I'll talk about where we would place, you know, the logo and stuff like that. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today is all about content creation. Usually how we run our day, we would usually focus on one thing at a time. We found that focusing on something like content creation and taking a full day to just do that is a, the best way to run it. And we have Tiff here. Hey guys. What do you got there? Oh, I got a package uh, that I had to pick up. Nice. It's like the mail guy didn't come upstairs yeah, for some reason, weird, eh? which is so weird. And the other guy in the elevator was like, why didn't he come upstairs? Like, I don't <laughs> didn't know. say why. Eh? Um, I have like a wine brand. It's called Liquid X Happiness. I'll leave the uh, Instagram link right there for you. Um, and yeah, so sometimes I get sent stuff uh, to kind of like review or post about. So yeah, I'm excited to check this out. I think this is the, because um, it doesn't actually have the business name on it, but I, oh, there it is. Look. So yeah, they sent me something which is a really cool like piece together um, wine wrap that you can make and kind of mold it to wherever you want it. So I'll probably nice. show you guys what that looks like later. Yeah. And I also will be posting it on my own channel. So Fantastic. yeah. Fantastic. So part of content creation, that was actually a very uh, good segue. So we, check have, it out, yeah. we have our clients and we have high season and then we have a few other things that we do ourselves that we regularly need to create content for. So one thing is Tiffany's Liquid X Happiness, which is wine, spirits, and uh, coffee focused. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes, you know, brands, companies will send her some, like whether it's like items like that, or yeah. some wine or whatever like that to take pictures of and stuff like that. Um, we're actually, I also have another one, well we do, because Tiffany yeah. is the producer, I'm the host. We have one called BAOS Podcast. It's a craft beer podcast and uh, YouTube channel. Um, so that's doing really well right now, actually. It's taken up quite a significant amount of our time because it's moving very quickly. Um, so we actually have a podcast locked in for a brewery that's not too far from uh, where, we're at, where we're at, which yeah, is good. Yeah, just did an hour, about an hour. Yep. We're going to do some content creation for some for our clients. Yeah. Um, and some for ourselves often, you know, like we have to keep the high season feed populated with uh, fire images. Got to keep, uh, make sure you're in front of people all the time, right? So we yep. always... Um, emphasize the importance of content creation for our clients so we also have to follow our own advice I guess yeah. and always make sure that we create content for ourselves whether that be in like blog formats video format like we're doing right now that's or it. just photos and stuff like that to kind of keep Instagram popping that's know? it and yeah. this exactly what we're doing right now I didn't even think about that it's almost, so this is meta yeah it's meta this is the content creation about content creation yeah and it's uh, I don't know, it's something that's become more and more important as we've sort of grown both in our side projects and the high season, our main uh, main thing that we do, yeah. And we're just realizing how important it is, and we're, we've sort of like yeah, over, I guess, this summer, for a, a little, and maybe this year, we've really focused on content creation yeah. for that. And it's, it's a noisy world, man. You gotta you gotta break through it. It's hard, yeah. But consistency is key. Yes. Consistent and persistent. That's all yes. you gotta do. So I guess it's time for uh, let's go do this podcast. Yeah. We'll see you guys shortly. <laughs> How you going? So it's a few days later. Um, we didn't get a chance to finish off the vlog. Um, where are we, Tiffany? Uh, we're in New York, actually. I think the last thing we did record was speaking to Daniel. So we were speaking to our the design agency that we work with. They're actually our partners as well. I think it might get darker for a second. Oh, 
actually, no, this camera, Canon G7X, guys, I tell you, it does, right? it does really well. So we, um, I think, yeah, we so we caught up with Daniel Macek. Uh, we had a little bit of a photo shoot for High Season by yeah. the mountain there, so for the website. Just to oh, get yeah, I vlogged extra... that. Yeah, yeah, I did take yep. that. Yeah. And we did uh, for, for, for Brewheads, brew heads, one of yeah. our... Um, which group as a client or They're like our friend slash client, so we do some yeah. creative work for them, but we're like in a bar during the system. Yeah, which is another good thing. That's something else. That's a great point. Yeah. Like we do that often, and that was how we kind of started a lot, and we've done that with our previous projects in the past. Like bartering is yeah. like super underrated. Yeah. Like, you don't always, you know, if you need something and you don't have the money for it, what can you offer somebody else to help them based on your skill set to make it a mutually beneficial uh, exchange yeah. of services? Which I love. Yeah, we're big fans of that, especially like we're very blessed to have a lot of talented people that we know. Yeah. So that we offer our services, they give us theirs, and it's a cool exchange. So essentially, the theme of this particular vlog is content creation and the importance of it. Um, so we focus really heavily on creating content for our clients for our own business which always tends to come second and we're really trying to our uh, clients come first yeah of course our clients will always come <laughs> first but we're trying to uh prioritize high seasons content a little higher and make sure we have plenty of content for our social media uh for ourselves and stuff and of like course, this vlog we're doing right now but this, this vlog content. like it's been some like to be honest we're still getting in the habit we do create content for the beer stuff and it's easy because we're used to it mm -hmm. this is not easy for us yet like we keep finding like it's like oh no we'll do it later we'll do this later and we've watched a lot of other vloggers that always say the same thing we're like what are you talking about like just do it <laughs> and like oh i get it now you know why because this is like every day our day-to-day -day life is like this so it's kind of like oh like i'm doing the same thing tomorrow i'll pull out the camera then where when we create content for like our bas podcast and it's web like a... series it's in the moment like if we are in colorado at that time doing this thing like we can't put it off you have to no. create it so it's Great more point. time sensitive where every day, day. Yeah. what we showed you is like our standard day we're like waking up taking calls going creating content and all that type of stuff is like yeah. a regular day um but yeah back to back to creating content super super important yeah. especially when you're looking at brand awareness so like this is a brand awareness exercise for us as well yeah um so people can kind of see one if you're like an entrepreneur you can kind of see like what that life looks like but two it's like if there are clients maybe they can also see what our personality is or potential like. clients or potential clients they can see what our look at this fly just like yeah, hit man. Me right. is that no. the crazy fly from earlier yeah. get out look it's like attached to your hair why is he so like sticky Anyways, go, he's gone go, 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 forever. Go, go. We All brought right. him over the border with us, not not willingly. Not willingly. Anyways, yeah, at least we got rid of him. It's probably good he stuck to me. Yeah. We got rid of him. <laughs> um, yeah, the content creating is. Hang on, what were you just saying? I had something to say, and then I got distracted by the fly. Uh, damn fly. You had a good thing going. Uh, I said we're creating content for. Oh, well, what are we doing? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So potential clients. So like we like think of it like this, and this is what I don't know if we said this in another one. I feel like we have, but Gary V was always like. Yeah. Treat your everyone needs to treat themselves or their brand like a media company. You have to be creating content. So we were like, well, we've been writing blogs since we started, like yeah. for, for literally three years. But blogs are cool, but it's written word, like you know, Diamond does, and really, I feel like it's our expertise going into that. So there are there is a lot of value in the yeah. in the blogs. But until you see our faces and you hear us talk, that's when you know if you know we are someone or a company that you would like to work with. Mm -hmm. So that's why we felt that like you know what we have this knowledge that we're slowly accumulating we're learning from people who are much more experienced than us and know so much have done so many things and if we can you know regurgitate it share it with you guys it helps us to reaffirm that information yeah. um, and also hopefully yeah if you've if you stumbled upon high season whether it's via the vlogs or, or via our blogs or ads or any of our social accounts and then you see this um it's like, oh, i love them or you like oh, i hate those guys <laughs> <laughs> it's one or the other <laughs> it makes it easy and that's fine like however you feel it's cool it's like yeah i think it just takes away a bit of a step in the uh lead generation process and also hopefully it takes a step away from uh if you're looking for a social media agency for whatever services you're thinking and you see this and you don't even have to get on a call before you know you really want to work with mm -hmm. us for example yeah. and we've had the same i guess and i think that can people. work for any business and yeah. i and i love that like so for example like say uh, one of our clients and she's a friend of mine she's a real estate agent and we really got her to start creating videos yeah because it's also an opportunity once she's sharing information with you so you're getting the educational component but then you're also getting to see the type of person she is as well because mm. you get to see her personality you're like oh I like how she sounds or I like how she looks like all of that type of thing those are all factors where are you gonna connect with someone and it's like a media it's almost like when yeah, you're you looking for a party you see each other like do am I interested in that person literally yeah. it's within seconds yeah. like you either will or you won't 
Uh, sometimes it does grow on you though, because I hated Gary Vee at first. I oh yeah, I thought it. he was so um, abrasive. I guess. Yeah. Is the way and he yeah. knows that, and he, knows that, he, yeah. he grows on you, and you're yeah. like, oh okay. So I don't think we're, I don't know if we're a grower or not. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Well, because the beer we'll find stuff that is in a the grower. Let yeah, us know in the, the comments. comments below if we're annoying. Because yeah. <laughs> that's Please. how I felt about Gary. I was like, oh, this guy is the worst. I yeah. think it took like seven tries before I could really... Because the information was there. It was so good. He's just so much. Yeah. But then you and end then up appreciating you're like, I appreciate clips. it because you're just super excited about marketing. And we're also people who are like super excited about marketing yeah. and stuff like that. So I'm sure yeah. we'll find our voice in high season. That was something else I'm not sure if we've spoken about yet. But it's been really difficult to find out how to talk to the, to the camera for high season. Because we do it in other... Context. Well, for you, I'm fine. For you, you're pretty good. Okay, for so for me at least. For me, yeah, you just I'm myself, but you have multiple personalities. For the different projects <laughs> that I had, like this is probably the closest thing to me just being chill and being myself. Yeah. Whereas that like, the beer thing's a little different and the music thing's a little different. So it's like, how do you approach it? So it's like we didn't know what to do and we kept messing up. And now it's like just do it. Yeah. And we'll edit it because that's the point. And yeah. we'll present how we see, and as it goes on, that's the best part about creating content is that, like, this one wasn't that fire, just put it out, next one. Do yeah, it again and do on, better yeah. next time. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink and that's it. a big thing, and that's actually what took us so long to create this we video content it. when we know it's valuable. It's not only is it valuable for us, but it's valuable for you as well. And, yeah. and it took us so long because we we're just overthinking the way it needs to be done. And yeah. then we're like, let's just screw it, let's just vlog it. People get to see and just ask us questions and we'll answer them. Yeah. Just see if you can apply yeah. any of this stuff to you and your business or your projects. Um, um, you know, essentially, it's the same thing yeah, for everybody. I think everybody can create content, can, especially like video. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You can be an accountant. There's anything. A yeah. developer. There is a way to create content. And that content is, one, going to expose you to your audience and increase brand awareness. Mm -hmm. But two, also generate leads because if people love you, then they're going to find out more about you and then if they yeah. need your services maybe not today but you're going to be on the forefront of their mind I'm sure if every any business had an extra two million dollars to spend they would spend it on Gary Vee or any of these higher marketing because he's on your mind and you know yeah. when you think marketing you think Gary Vee and he provides um, what's the word he uses it's like provides like uh, over and above value yeah and it creates a your personal brand on top of that yeah no, it's just a, it's a cool process and mm -hmm. it's something that we would highly highly recommend for literally everybody and if we had our way all of our clients would be doing this because we can't do it for you we yeah. can set up the infrastructure but we cannot do this yeah for our clients yeah. so you know some of them do uh, one of our real estate clients she did it yeah. like you hassled her and she yeah. did it <laughs> And she did, she's doing great. But she's Reluctantly, it. but she's yeah. getting into it now, right? Yeah. She's getting smoother at the, at yeah, yeah. the camera stuff. She's great. And, yeah. You know, it's it's a process, and it's the same. We're going through the same process, and I guess we're documenting and discussing that process now. Yeah. So I think that's pretty much it for this episode. I would say so. So if you enjoyed the vlog, Chuck us a thumbs up, guys. Uh, Chuck is because Craig's Australian, oh, yeah, Australian. and what that means oh, Chuck. give us a thumbs up. Or throw, technically. Chuck it Oh, Chuck is throw. Okay, yeah, so yeah. Throw. It's give us a, give this video a thumbs up. Easier. Um, hit subscribe if you like the vlog and you want to see more like day in the life of an entrepreneur. We're going to be kind of mixing this with some other content as well. Um, and comment below if you have any questions. We'd love to get conversations started. So yeah. please do. That's it. And hit the notification bell if you are so inclined and you would like to... Uh, Find out when the new videos drop. Mm -hmm. And lastly, follow us on social media at High Season Co. Anywhere and everywhere. Exactly. That's another one. Consistent handles everywhere. Everywhere. We always make our Do what you that. need to do to get the consistent handles everywhere. Okay? Easy. All right, guys. We got a Brooklyn. Until next time. Bye.